Hello everyone, welcome back to Viewfinder. Uh, it's been a few days for me since the last uh, episode when I said I was gonna maybe finish this and maybe not. Thought I'd give it another try. I had to slog through for a third time the timed puzzle at the apparent end of the game. Made it back here, no crash loading the cat. We'll see if it crashes when it tries to teleport me or if that works. Third time's the charm? I see. I suppose our time has come to an end. Thank you for stopping by. See you, kitty cat. I wish you well. I wish you well. I wish you well. I wish you well. Okay? It says stuck, check the pause menu for a hint, but like, how could I be stuck? There's nothing here. Alright, so here we are on like Mars or future New York or whatever this is. Might be the real world? Might not. We don't really know. There's a tree. That's pretty cool. It's kind of an elaborate cinematic where you're allowed to move around, right? This is still very much a cutscene, I guess. No real puzzles to do. Can't walk very far outside the bounds of where you're meant to go. So check out a tree, fall asleep and die. Hey, it's a tree it's a plant. Sprout? I guess it's a sprout. Oop. I wasn't, didn't really mean to go through yet. Still trying to explore. You're back. Oh, thank God. You made it. <laughs> I was worried. You went dark. Don't scare me like that. You probably need some rest. I think it was too good to be true. Seems that our answers for all our problems. A bummer, for sure. But it's not the end. We can keep brainstorming other. Hmm? Wait. What? I'm not allowed to move, by the way. Look, I brought back a plant. It turns out the simulation was real. Okay, so I don't know. Maybe I'll edit this into the... No, I don't know. I, <laughs> I think it's fair to make this its own video just to, like, highlight how the buggy the game was at the end. Uh... So, what, what do I have to say about this game at the end? I forget already what I said last time. Like I said, it was a few days ago. There were fun, like, you know... The, the, the new mechanics being introduced, it was like, oh yeah, cool. Oh wow, you can really do that? There's a lot of that. There wasn't a lot of hard puzzles. Which is fine. Um, uh, I sort of felt like the whole game was a tutorial, and then you like get to the end, and it's like, oh, it's just over? I hated the part at the end with the timed puzzles. What was that about like this hasn't been a game about racing through stuff it doesn't make sense to introduce that as some climactic ending in my opinion um but it's nice that they let you turn it off can't be too mad about that um oh the super hot team worked on this i guess maybe interesting i never played super hot um, I really did not like at all the parts that were like perspective puzzles where stuff popped in and out of existence. Uh, or you had to stand in the right place to make something happen. The, uh, the various filters on the camera were fun to play with. You know, mostly it was about, oh wow, you know, you're shaping reality. That was cool stuff story never really came together i thought i was going to discover something about what was happening like yeah obviously they were trying to discover like a weather fixing machine and they did but it was broken in a way that made no sense and then at the end i magically took a plant from the simulation to the real world and like who the heck was jesse where was she I don't know, it didn't make a lot of sense. Uh, and then 
they've got a bunch of uh, special thanks here, I guess. I don't know. Unity ISS, they built this thing on the dang old space station, huh? I don't know what ISS stands for. Interstellar something support, maybe. Um, I assume it's somehow related to Unity, the game engine, right? I assume I assume this was made in Unity. And ISS was some kind of support team involved with that? I don't know. Attributions. Oh, font attributions. How nice. Those are the only things they had to put in attributions was the 11 fonts they used. Open dyslexic, huh. I don't know what dyslexic fonts look like. So, I mean, the game was a fun experience. Um, what did it, what did it cost on Steam anyway? 20 bucks, probably? 25. Actually, I think it was on sale, for like, 15 or 20, 10% off the first game, so it was probably like 22. Hashtag justice for Kate. What is that all about? I assume it's not actually related to the game. It looks like, oh, they named the cat Kate after some real-world event with Justice for Kate as its hashtag. Um, well, there you go. That's your, that's your wrap-up for you, Finder. Turns out we were seconds away from the end of the game, but I really couldn't tell. And I was not going to fight through that last puzzle one more time in the last session. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.